let's run through a scenario where we look at an aircraft coming towards us that is going to go from and others approximate to becoming a potential and then a real threat to us. In this scenario, I have placed our intruder outside the proximate envelope in the others part, which means he or she is within 30 nautical miles of our aircraft, but not on co-altitude and is easily at this point not posing a threat to us. We are in our current state holding an altitude and flying straight and level at 4,000 feet. We have the indication of the traffic up here in the top portion of our ND display because we have selected the TCAS TARA on the TCAS control panel and set the range for the ND appropriately. As the aircraft approaches us, it is now going to move into the proximate envelope. It means it is now within six nautical miles of us and within 1200 feet of our current altitude. The symbol has now shifted to a solid white spade symbol indicating the proximate intruder. We are still flying straight and level and at this point there are no actions for us to carry out. As the traffic continues to approach us and our path, the TCAS is continuously calculating the CPA and TAU for that intruder and now has moved into our traffic advisory zone, the TA. It means the TAU is approximately 40 seconds at this point and it will trigger an all warning traffic traffic that should draw the attention for the crew to the situation in front of them. Our symbol has turned amber, but there are still no actions for us other than call out that the TCAS is now armed. As you can see on the FMA, the vertical mode is armed in blue. If our intruder continues to move closer to us, it will trigger an RA. The resolution advisory was with the aircraft was about 25 seconds away from the closest point of approach. And this will trigger on the ND display a red square for the indication for the traffic together with an all warning traffic traffic and vertical commands on the vertical speed indicator on the PFD for the crew to fly. But in my case here, this is an automatic TCAS maneuver, which will be carried out by the auto flight system. I will ensure that on my FMA, the TCAS went from armed to active and that the aircraft is following the vertical guidance maneuvers set out for this maneuver. And I will ensure that the auto flight system is in fact carrying out the vertical maneuver as shown on the display. The auto flight system will fly this maneuver to put the vertical speed just at the edge of the green band so as to not cause an excessive maneuver. The crew is to react to a resolution advisory but not to take control. You want to ensure that the TCAS engages and follows the vertical command and should it deviate or not engage appropriately, you want to take corrective actions immediately. Once our aircraft safely maneuvers around the intruder, then the auto flight system will start to return the aircraft back to its original level of flight. In this case, it will go into a light climb putting the vertical mode into ALF and an all caution is triggered saying clear of conflict. And this allows us to return back to our original state of flying. So return to the level we were currently at. If this is a TCAS maneuver carried out by the auto flight system, it will automatically start, in my case here, a gentle climb back to the altitude and return everything to normal. If this is a manual maneuver, the crew will have to return the aircraft back to its original state.